Thank you very much for joining me on this Tuesday. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields, and thank you for being part of this weather community and spreading the word about it. I want to get to this, the two areas we're watching, one right here, another one right here, and a big front moving through the United States. I'll show you that with a computer model in just a second. This area here is part of a front. I do believe it's going to spin up, and that will approach the Azores. Not truly tropical in nature, a little more subtropical, but that is going to spin up. This one down here, not so much, and I'll show you why. Again, everything on track from what we've been talking about. It's an area of interest. Keep an eye on this. Here is Jamaica, so just south of us and just to the north of us here in uh, Colombia, Panama, Costa Rica here. There's not much with it. There's almost nothing. If you were to take away this kind of yellow highlighted box, kind of or oval highlighting it, you wouldn't think much of it at all. Uh, but it is an area of investigation. Models are being run on it. Uh, this area as a whole will generally move off toward the west the next couple days, and it will enhance the chance of rain as it moves west. See a few more showers popping up. Cayman Islands and Jamaica, eventually Nicaragua, Honduras, watching over toward Costa Rica and Panama. So it is going to increase the chance of rain. I'm just not seeing a lot of development out of it. And you see the computer models now being run on this. This is over time. I know this is one of those weird maps, but let me try to explain it best I can. 24 hours out, 40 hours out, 72 hours out, three days out. Then you go about four days out. These are the computer models over time. And again, this green shading, if they were to move into here, that would be a tropical storm. This here would be a hurricane category one, but almost all stay below tropical storm force. Even these models, those are not our typical kind of a global hurricane models. Everything keeping this area weak. This is why. And then I want to show you what we're seeing ahead as I break it down with the models and then expand out the view for you. You see this, this is our dry air tracker. And what I'm seeing with this is above our heads in the mid-level of the atmosphere, it's a lot of dry air just kind of eating away at this. So even as thunderstorms trying to build up, they move into this dry air mass and it's very difficult for something to kind of build and get organized, which is good news. But I know some of us uh, do need to get some of the rain. So for today, it's more in the way of spot showers and storms today and then I'll broaden this out in a second. So you can see this area in here over the Central Caribbean just right in here not much so as we work our way into our Wednesday this is tomorrow afternoon and then I want to get into the Gulf of Mexico in one moment I'll show you that. You see here a little flare up of rain Jamaica we could get a few more spotty showers and storms and then just kind of enhancing the chance of rain late week as this works its way off toward the west. So here's the bigger view and again we could see the spin develop out here moving toward the Azores. Azores I'll keep an eye you. Now we have a big front over toward the United States. That brought the severe weather to parts of Louisiana, Mississippi, and Arkansas yesterday. That is going to push off, bring some snow to Maine over toward uh, Prince Edward Island. Nova Scotia could see a little bit of snow as well. As that moves away tomorrow, there's going to be a storm system developing in the Gulf of Mexico. That is common in an El Nino pattern. We're going to see this all winter long. Very, uh, it's, gonna, it's not going to be so quiet this winter. There'll be a lot to track together. And you see here by Thursday, this flaring up and that could bring strong to severe storms to Florida, even some stronger storms in the northern Bahamas as we work our way into Friday as that moves in, kind of clipping by Cuba. So keeping an eye on that, that weather event uh, there. And then to the south, we'll see just spotty showers and storms. But it is going to be active this winter because of El Nino. That can even bring some help bring some bigger fronts through the Caribbean. All right, get a look at the rain outlook for today. And you see, here's Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic trying to uh, recover from some of the uh, uh, historic floods that we had. U.S. Virgin Islands, British Virgin Islands, Saba, Stacia, St. Kitts and Nevis. And you see not, not much in the way of rain. We could get 25 millimeters, maybe an inch of rain in some spots. So while there are two areas out there, we have yet to have Vince or Whitney. Those are the last two names on the list. Uh, Vince may develop. It could be subtropical storm Vince but not in the Caribbean. So if you see other uh, outlets or channels or social media saying, hey, Vince formed, that may, that may be clickbait uh, because again, uh, Vince would be well out to sea, but I'm watching my friends in the Azores to see if that moves in. If somehow we did have Vince and Whitney, we'd go to a secondary list this year. So this goes, hurricane season ends at the end of November, uh, but we hold on to the list through the end of the year and then the new list kind of kicks in right as we get into the new year. So the DR, just an isolated chance of a shower storm. Not much in Haiti, a 20% chance. You see how the rain chance goes down for some of us. Jamaica, a little uptick with that tropical disturbance passing to the south 
as we work our way toward Thursday and Friday. Same thing in the Cayman Islands. Rain chance about 20% in Cuba. There's not much, uh, but we could see again the end of the week that uh, system in the Gulf clipping us by. Bahamas, 20% chance of rain the next two days. Northern Bahamas a little bit higher Friday into Saturday. Turks and Caicos, 20% chance today, 10% chance tomorrow. Puerto Rico, spotty showers and thunderstorms possible today in a 50% chance as we work our way into the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Trinidad and Tobago for us. We're going to see some scattered showers and storms. Not for all of us. 30% chance in Grenada and a 30% chance the next three days in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Barbados, a 20% chance. An isolated shower. St. Lucia, a 20% chance. An isolated passing shower. Nothing widespread. Nothing widespread in Martinique. Nothing widespread in Dominica. Rain chance we actually dry out a little bit more so as we approach the weekend. Same thing in Guadeloupe. 10 to 20% chance of a shower. Antigua and Barbuda. It's going to go up just a little bit. The tail end of that front to the north. We'll see a 30% chance as well tomorrow and Thursday. St. Kitts and Nevis and Montserrat. And a 30% chance in Anguilla and St. Bart's. We could get a couple uh, showers passing by. Same thing St. Tamar in uh, Saba and Stacia. Northeastern Caribbean. I'll show you the rain total. is not crazy. But again, rain chance up a little higher. Belize eventually end of the week in the weekend. That moisture will build back in with that tropical disturbance. Could see a passing shower in Aruba and Curacao. Keep me posted. Same thing in Bonaire. About a 30% chance. 20% chance today in Bermuda, but it will be picking up in a couple of the days. Yucatan, not much. A 60% chance holding on to that through Costa Rica. Not all day stuff. A 20% chance in northern Venezuela the next couple days. In some scattered showers and storms in Guyana, a 40% chance. And we're looking at a 30% chance in Suriname. So not many days left in the hurricane season, yet we're tracking those two areas out there. So the disturbance in the Caribbean, not likely to develop. The area in the central uh, Atlantic is likely to develop. And I'll monitor that as it gets closer to the Azores and watch how the tropical disturbance in the Caribbean uh, will increase the chance of rain, plus that uh, area in the Gulf of Mexico that's going to be building up the next few days. I'll be tracking that for you. Thank you for being part of this channel and have a good rest of your day.